Ladies and gentlemen, it's Comcast, Mr. 5150. Brought to you by YMDLU.com. Got on my subscriber shades. And uh, this video is my thoughts, my reaction to the murdering of Milton Hall. To make a long story short, Milton Hall was believed to have some mental issues. Okay? Milton Hall had a knife. And there were several officers, I think between probably six to nine officers, and they shot him down. Uh, CNN reported that they counted at least 30 shots. It sounded somewhere between 25 to about 30-some shots because the shots were, were in rapid uh, succession. So uh, it's kind of hard for me to count them. But anyway... This man, which he's an older man, he was shot down. But the problem that I have is time and time again, our citizens that may have mental issues that are unfortunate enough to come into contact with these murderers, I mean police officers, are met with deadly force. Now... True enough, a knife is a deadly weapon, but officers are trained to use non-lethal force. Now, these officers had a canine on scene, did not use the canine. Instead, to me, it seemed like that they waited for him to make an aggressive move, which happens in all cases when there's a citizen versus the murderers, I mean the police. They they just let it go on and go on and go on, knowing that the person that that possibly has mental issues is getting agitated and annoyed and feeling cornered. And sooner or later, the person that feels cornered is going to naturally make an aggressive move. But with that being said, a person with a knife versus several police officers with weapons, you mean to tell me none of those officers were trained and carried a taser? I don't understand the distance between uh, 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 a officer firing a taser, firing from a effective distance versus the person stabbing them is, I mean, there isn't no danger there. I am saddened that there was a time when officers would actually go, go straight to non-lethal force. Now it's just Shoot the motherfuckers down and let's leave it alone because we got a license to kill because we are police officers. Something needs to be done. But people in these cities, the, the, the cops wonder why people don't like them. Because they're murderers. A, a lot of them are murderers. You know, and the way that it seems is that Officers can shoot you down like a fucking dog in the street and and not hold any responsibility whatsoever. But me as a licensed uh, 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 a weapon carrier, if I get in an argument with a person that has a knife and if I shoot them six, seven, eight times, I'm going to prison. Something is wrong there. We need to hold these officers accountable for their actions. I don't give a fuck if you are a police officer. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, a lot of folks may try to say it's a black thing. Nope. Because uh, there was a white homeless guy that had mental issues. that The cops beat him to fucking death. What is going on, people? <laughs> What the hell is going on? I mean, I'm outraged, but 
I can't do any, anything about it. You know? And it's scary because, you know, it's like when cops come on scene, they, I mean, the weapons are coming out. Whether you call them or someone call call them on you, um, it it has even happened to me. Couple couple of years ago, there was a disturbance. I called the cop. The cops got aggressive towards me until I didn't yell. I didn't do anything. I said, "I I want to speak." To your supervisor. See, when you do that, the officer that you tell that to cannot leave the scene. He must stay there until his direct supervisor comes on scene and then you speak to that officer. A lot of people that they just want to just get mad and stuff, but you know, that just just is stuff that I learned because I know some officers. Yeah. But uh the link to the video is in the description. Um, y'all look at it, and and y'all leave comments and uh, tell me how y'all feel about it. Um, warning: it is graphic. Okay, it is a very graphic video. So if you have kids in the room, please ask ask them to leave before you view it. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all take it easy. This is Comcast, Mister Fifty One Fifty, powered by YMDLU.com. Yum, they love how.